Hey everyone, welcome to this Connects video tutorial on how to put together Connects pieces in Inventor. It's a pretty straightforward process, but let's go ahead and get started. What we are going to want to do is create a stick figure in this video. And to begin, you want to go to Joint, click that, and you want to click on the piece you want to enter. So like, let's say this gray piece here, I'm going to click on that point, the very end of it. And let's say I want it to go here, I'm going to click on this point. And you'll notice it kind of just flies into place and I'm going to press apply. Now let's say I wanted to put this white piece inside of this body over here. Well then, I would click on like the circle, like that one, you see what's lit up there. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to click on the bottom of this gray piece, and you're going to see it fly into place. And then I'm going to use this gap here to create some kind of an offset. Let's see negative three, uh, negative four, negative 5. So negative 5 looks pretty good. And I'm going to go ahead and press apply. So that's now there. Uh, and sometimes you'll understand that it needs to rotate. So if I clicked on this gray piece and I right click on it and I go to grounded, like I can spin this piece because I made it in a rotational sense. Okay. And for the most part, that's pretty much it. You could go to like constrain. Whoop, not constrain still using my old habits, joint, and then you just say, well, I want to connect this white piece over to this piece here, flies into place, connects itself, um, and you might notice that it's not 100% right, and if it's not, we can edit that, but um, for the most part, rigid works well if you want it to never move again, and if you do want it to move again, then you want to change it to rotational, if you change it to rotational, it'll allow it to move like 360. But in this case, I'm just going to keep it rigid, press apply, and then continue to move on. So joint, let's say I wanted to connect a leg socket, one right there, apply, and then let's say one right here, apply. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to see exactly how I'm doing that. Whoops, and I clicked on the wrong thing first. You always want to click on the thing that's going in, so it just makes it a lot easier to stay focused on. And you're seeing how I'm putting multiple pieces together at a very quick rate here. So connecting isn't actually that bad. There we go. Okay, the last ones are a little bit trickier because you won't be able to use the joint tool for them. We want them to go in sideways into these connector pieces, so the constraint tool is still the best way to do that. Uh, it takes three constraints. Just go to constraint. The first one is mate. So I'm going to mate, let's say, this side with this side, and you're going to see kind of flies in like that. It's a little bit too, too much, so we're, we usually put like a 0.1 offset, and you'll notice now it's a bit higher. Okay, I'm going to press apply. Then after that, we need to flush this end to, let's say, the front of it, okay? And now we're going to push it forward, so let's try 0.4, negative 0.4. And you'll see that it kind of puts it so that it's further ahead, so this is the part it needs to snap to, and I'm going to press apply. And then the last one is a tangent constraint. Tangent's located right over here, tangent, and you click on a circular part like that, and then you click on a flat part, like that. You hear that snap, uh, and that's three constraints. So you can see it kind of looks pretty good. Press apply, and it won't be able to move. It's in place. So let me do that one more time. Constrain. I'm going to mate the side of this body over to here. You hear that snap. Put a point one offset. Press apply. Next, I'm going to flush these two together. Here the snap. Put a negative 0.4 offset so that it's in the same place. Press apply and then go to tangent. I click on a circular body. So here's something circular and something flat. And then press apply. And that's it. We created a stick figure. So if you think you got that, you're good to move on. Peace.